how to destroy the reprobate doctrine with three easy questions. Uh, if you're not aware of what the reprobate doctrine is, it is a peculiar teaching of the new IFB that uh, people, certain people, particularly sodomites, called in the modern term uh, homosexuals, um, that these people are reprobate and cannot be saved even if they turn from their sin, even if they are totally broken, come to the Lord as sinners. They can't be saved. They are what's called reprobates, and the only thing left for them is to kill them, uh, according to the new IFB preachers out there. Um, total heresy. I've debunked it in other videos, but there are three very ser serious problems with this teaching. And three easy questions if you run into one of these new, new IFB heretics, and any of you heretics out there, I know you watch my videos, uh, answer. Answer these questions, okay? Question number one, how do you determine when a person becomes reprobate? When Romans chapter 1 verse 28 clearly says, God gave, gave them over to a reprobate mind. How do you determine it? Okay, let me explain. Some young person going to high school and they're messed up because of gender confusion. Uh, women in, in this country and in most countries have been dressing like men for the last nearly 100 years. Um, and you have young women that are confused. And they, they dress like boys, basically. Uh, pants and shirts and whatever else, and just like a boy dresses. And they're confused. Or you have young men that, that aren't raised with a father and they get confused about things and whatever else. Have they been given over to a reprobate mind uh, if they just act like they're a sodomite, a homosexual, and yet they never commit an act, and later on they turn from it? Were they given over to a reprobate mind, or did they have to physically commit the act? What if they commit it when they're drunk, or high on drugs, or on prescription medication, another form of drugs, even worse than street drugs in many cases? They're not in their right mind. They're not really sure what they're doing. They wake up and they say, oh, no, what did I do here? I was at some party and some bad things happened there, and I didn't even know what I did. They committed the act, physical act. Have they been given over to a reprobate mind? And here's the whole problem. You say, well, I can answer that. Uh, no, actually, you can't because the Bible says God gave them over to a reprobate mind. So how does a church or church leaders determine when somebody has been given over to a reprobate mind when the scriptures clearly say it's God that gives them over to a reprobate mind? God makes a decision when they're finally reprobate. That's question number one. Question number two, what about anyone who receives pleasure from people that have been given over to reprobate mind? Like pornography. Somebody's looking at pornography. Sodomite pornography. Two lesbians together. Very popular among men who get into pornography. They'll look at two women together. Romans chapter 1 Verse 32 says, Who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Funny because uh, the big film producer for uh, the new IFB is Paul Wittenberger, who works for Hollywood. He's making films for the new IFB and making films for Hollywood at the same time, working in the, the film crew and everything else there. He's not the producer or something, I realize that. He produces videos for Framing the World as his film company name. And yet, he worked for a lesbian film. Um, what do you do with that? Wouldn't he be guilty of uh, violating Romans 132? So, well, no, he didn't get any pleasure. He just, he just got a paycheck. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, but what about the men in the new IFB system that uh, have actually looked at sodomite porn? Men and men, or women and women, or women that looked at men and men, or whatever else. What about them? Have they been given over to a reprobate mind? But here's the good one. Question number three. I would like anybody in the new IFB to show one verse of scripture that says that a saint, a redeemed Christian that rules and reigns with Jesus Christ for the thousand years here on the earth, his thousand year kingdom, the millennial reign, many people would call it, Show me one verse that says a saint is going to put anyone to death. You say, well, saints execute judgment. Yeah, it doesn't say that they kill anybody. But there's an even bigger problem there, you see. Because when Jesus Christ is ruling and reigning on the earth, it says that his kingdom is in righteousness. The devil's bound and cast into the bottomless pit for a thousand years. 
So if saints are putting sodomites to death in that time period, um, my question would be, how are sodomites even going to be there in that time period? How is sodomy even going to be there in that time period? New IFP, new IFB people are saying, when we get a righteous government, we're going to put sodomites to death. Okay, when's that going to happen? Um, show me any verses of scripture that say that that's going to happen. I mean, any, any for any kind of offense or anything, show me one verse of scripture in the entire Bible uh, that says that saints in that thousand year reign are going to put anybody to death for any reason. And why would there be sodomites there when the devil's bound and put in the bottomless pit? And Jesus Christ is ruling and reigning on the earth, and his saints are ruling and reigning with him. You see, the reprobate doctrine is a papal doctrine. It's somebody that's been given over to this reprobate mind. They're a heretic. You don't even have to have any sympathy for them anymore. You can execute them. And it will come in in the future, but it's not going to be because the Bible says that Christians are going to do this stuff. It's because when they kill you, they will think that they do God's service. Jesus Christ warned about that in the future. That there are people that are going to come and they're going to be saying, we're doing God's service by executing these heretics, these reprobates that can't be saved. You see, what the new IFB is, is it's a branch of the Antichrist church system that's going to be coming. The Antichrist comes, for, comes and he's released by Jesus Christ in Revelation chapter 6 verse 1. After there's saints in heaven in Revelation chapter 5. Um, but in Revelation chapter 6 verse 1, Jesus Christ releases the Antichrist. And he goes forth conquering and to conquer. It's chapter, chapter 6, verses 1, 2, and it goes down through there. And then the war comes next and everything. Hmm. Very interesting. So uh, look out for this new IFB thing. It's an Antichrist movement. I mean, it's, it's very, very satanic, very, very dangerous. And I'll just say this. Um, if you are involved in sodomy, you can be saved. But don't think that you can hold on to that lifestyle, that wicked lifestyle, and that God's just going to be okay with it. Um, men and men and women and women is an abomination in God's sight. I don't hate you for saying that if you're involved in that kind of a sin. Um, I'm just telling you what the Bible plainly teaches. It is an abomination in God's sight, but you can be saved. I have a, a series of videos going over Jeffrey Dahmer, the man who was a, he was a sodomite and a cannibal even, um, cutting up his victims and things and, and doing all sorts of horrible stuff. And he went to prison and he got saved in prison. I believe 100% that he was born again at the time of his death. And he was church going, by the way, too, back when he was doing the wicked things that he was in of his past. He'd go to church, take his victims to church sometimes before he'd kill them. So, very interesting study there. But uh, you can be saved. Uh, there's an old hymn that says, The vilest offender who truly believes that moment from Jesus a pardon receives. And I believe that 100%. But you don't if you're a new IFB person, new IFB nut. <laughs> okay? Uh, I'd get away from that new IFB cult. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.